Good morning from Sunshine and Maui <laughs> and myself. We are here at the farm and it's just a stunning and gorgeous, vibrant day. And the clouds today are really, really incredible. And I am just in awe of the beauty that is surrounding this day. So I'm sitting with sunshine. I am in my month of seeking the new and coming out more with a lot of messages I've been receiving over the last few years, including messages from Echo and Sunshine. And I sit with Sunshine and this morning she asked me to read a poem to you. And so that's what I would like to bring today. I want to share love and wisdom and guidance that we may find our feet. We may continue to ground, be discerning and open to the messages that come to us each and every day how we find those signs, how we recognize them, how we track them, and then also how we integrate all of that knowledge and wisdom into our lives. And what does that look like? Because it honestly is different for everybody, but there are some basic foundations to all of that that can be very helpful to get started or even deepen your uh, understanding and stepping into working with the signs that come to you. So this morning, uh, Sunshine wanted me to read a poem and this poem uh, was written by her, actually for me in my own personal evolution that I am working on right now. But it seemed pertinent to offering this opportunity, this enlightenment, this um, energy of maybe this resonates with you too. Maybe your unique gifts and there are things that you know that you want to bring out to the world that you haven't for whatever reason. That I'm really being guided that now is the time for us all to share what we are here for, what we are bringing. And we all know deep down what that is. And it doesn't have to be rocket science and it doesn't have to be something that necessarily has a certification. It's something that comes from your heart center and it's something that comes from you innately. It's usually something that you just love to do or you're passionate about or you feel you're on a mission about. And these are the things that you're bringing out to the world in whatever way you're bringing it out. And it may be that you talk one-to-one -one with people. It may be that you're an advocate for something that's going on in the world and you want to share how you feel. It may be that you're an animal advocate like me and you want to share truth. Uh, for me, I definitely want to show people life through their eyes and how they see their world rather than how we think they see their world and bring that level of truth that we may understand our animal companions and wildlife um, in a slightly different way. And there'll be more videos and blogs coming out to share what I've learned over the last 20 years of dedicating my life to understanding more and completely being a student in this world of mystery and constant change. Right now, the world is in a change that is so astronomical. Sometimes it's challenging to even get to know where you are, what day of the week it is, what time it is, what you're supposed to be doing, how you're supposed to be showing up. And the invitation really is to sit, to breathe, and take a moment, even just five minutes a day, of focused breathing, of being in nature, of touching the earth, of looking out the window, of connecting to a tree that you see, 
of looking at flowers, of looking at the dragonfly or the butterfly or the bird that's flying overhead. And what it will do is help you to shift and plug in to what you're truly aligned to. And it will also help you to guide from your heart center more and less from your mind. It drops you beautifully into your heart center. So maybe just five minutes a day of something that is aligned to your soul and your emotional self that brings peace and harmony, whatever that might be for you. It might be that you like to play instruments. It might be that you like to go for a walk, play with your dog, ride your horse, be on your tractor. Whatever it is that brings you into this moment is going to be incredibly beneficial for you and give you a break from the craziness that's going on out there in the world and how we navigate all of that. Um, I can spend, you know, just 10 minutes a day watching sunshine graze or watching my dog play. And it's enough to just be in this moment, right now, here, grounded, quiet, peaceful, no matter what is going on out in the big wide world, it's okay to take five minutes and just refeed and rejuvenate yourself. And this is what I feel is becoming more and more important is that we can forget, we can get too busy, we can feel like we don't have the time, but five minutes we do have. We all have five minutes, four minutes, 30 seconds. We all have a moment where we can breathe, look out the window, go outside, ground your feet, and really find that space that you feel plugged in to the earth, to the elements, to nature, and to your heart center. And as you drop into your heart center more and more, and you begin to focus your life from your heart, you will find that many, many shifts and changes will happen. Doors will open, new experiences will find you, and nothing becomes difficult things become a lot more in ease and flow. And you will find that it becomes almost laughable. I have experiences in my life where I just sit back and I know that divine timing, spiritual alignment, all created the moment that I'm sitting in front of. And how magnificent is that? And that is available to everyone on this planet. Each person, each child, each elder, each animal, everyone um, has access to this, these beautiful moments that can happen. And when you're having a day where things don't feel in alignment or you're having a day where things are just not working out the way you had planned, Maybe the five minutes that you spend coming into your heart center will bring inspiration to you. And maybe what you're seeking is just six degrees to your left or your right. And taking that five minutes allows you to shift enough to see what it is you need to do next. I hope that that will be helpful in some way that will help you move forward if you're feeling stagnated or stuck. Um, and I would love to read this poem to you and see how this resonates with you also as it deeply resonated with me. So here we go. The beings are coming and you must be ready to bring me where you are. We must be doing our work now. We have wanted, waited, delayed. It's time. The portal is to be heard and is open. I need to rejuvenate fully and I will. We have many more hearts to touch. The spirit of leopard is here. Know your place, know your mind. Be good to all. Above everything, be kind. The leopard is cunning, calculated and clear. What must be created to hunt the deer? Tracking and patience take time to find where. The food that is yours 
wanting is waiting right here. This analogy is helpful to know when you feel lost in the matrix of living in fear. When courage and heart combine as an ally, you too will be able to seek your own tribe. Find comfort in knowing it's all abundant and each soul and the mission are now birthing and rampant. So Sunshine was, uh, had major, major bouts of laminitis and literally could not move for many weeks. And through asking and guiding and speaking to people, we managed to find a treatment that has literally turned her around. And then a new farrier and her wearing a muzzle when she grazes to control the sugar intake has completely transformed this beautiful, resilient, heartfelt, divine feminine being into one that is standing her ground, who moves freely, has found her health and is now wanting to be out there and share with each and every one of you. So we wish you a wonderful day night, evening, afternoon, whenever you happen to catch this. And we hope to see you again with our next sharing. Many blessings and much love to each and every one of you.